What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving an update on Caspa. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. So Caspa is currently trading at a price point of just under $0.05. Cents. It has a market cap of over $1 billion, which according to CoinGecko ranks 44th among all cryptocurrencies. And then it has a circulating supply of $20.8 billion out of a max supply of $28.7 billion, which is about 72% in circulation. Now Caspa reached its all-time high only 11 days ago at just over $0.05 cents and has retraced 9% since then. They are absolutely dominating the crypto market right now during a bear market. And in their case, they've never actually actually experienced a bull run. And if you're looking to invest in Caspa, I recommend using KuCoin or Mexi. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. Now, the first thing I would like to do is compare Caspa to the all-time high that some other projects have reached. And the first one I want to compare it to is the all-time high that Algorin reached, which was a market cap of $13.3 billion. If Caspa reached those levels, it'd be trading at a price point of $0.64, cents and that'd be a 13x. Now, I absolutely believe this is possible. You have to understand, Caspa could potentially be the first ever project to solve the blockchain trilemma of scalability, decentralization, and security due to the fact that they run on proof of work. And that could be enormous for the crypto space. Now, now here's where things start to get a little more interesting. If you compare Caspa to the all-time market cap high that Chainlink reached last bull run, which was $22 billion, if Caspa got to those levels, it'd be trading at a price point of $1.05, and that'd be a 21x. Now, the reality of Caspa is it is going to have major resistance at that $1 mark. But I did actually make a poll on my channel asking you guys whether or not you thought Caspa could reach that $1 mark, and over two-thirds of you guys said yes. So just to be clear, if Caspa was going to reach a dollar, it would probably need to reach around a $21 billion market cap, which again, Again, it's certainly possible. I cannot stress how important it is that Caspa has never experienced a bull run. So realistically speaking, nobody knows how high Caspa can go. There has never been a time where a bunch of institutional money has got their hands on Caspa. So for all we know, it could go way higher than this. At the same time, Caspa could cap out at a 2 billion market cap, and it could potentially only go to 10 cents next bull run. Just keep an open mind when it comes to these price predictions. Now, the last project I want to compare Caspa to is Shiba Inu, which is a meme coin. If Caspa reached the all-time high that it reached, which was $41.1 billion, it'd be trading at a price point of $1.97, and that'd be a 40x. Now, this is getting very ambitious. I don't know as though I would wager that Caspa reaches these levels. Again, it certainly could happen, but everything is going to have to break right for Caspa. Caspa is going to be fighting with 20 other different high-quality layer ones. That's just how it is. Now, a lot of people will argue that Caspa is the best out of all of them, but it will be institutional money that decides that. But these price comparisons are just for educational purposes. Please do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Now I want to get into some Caspa news. So this is their Twitter page, which has 87,000 followers. And they just tweeted out September 29th. The Caspa mobile wallet Caspium is now available for download on the iOS and Android app stores. And this is huge for Caspa. I get asked all the time where you can store Caspa. And in my eyes, there had never been a great option. Now, I'm still not going to come out and say Caspium is the perfect option. I personally have never used it. But what I will say is that it is designed for Caspa. And by my next Caspa video, I will have used it. So I will be able to give a proper review. And then they posted September 27th. The ambassador program continues in Chicago, where essentially they're allowing students to learn about Rust, BlockDAG technology, and Caspa. So that's a good way to get their name out there. And then they posted September 26th, how to make a Caspa payment via Twitter slash X handle. Caspa introduces a groundbreaking way to send Caspa using the finance change app. And if you guys are interested in learning how to do that, they have a video walkthrough. But this is truly amazing how fast Caspa is growing. I have never seen a project grow this fast, especially during a bear market. The only project that I would even consider being close to this in growth is Hedera Hashgraph. But even Hedera is completely outclassed when it comes to price action. Now, the next article I want to cover has nothing to do with Caspa, but it's just the overall crypto market. So Xbox goes crypto. Leaked Microsoft roadmap includes wallet plans. So the next generation Xbox console ecosystem could offer gamers a crypto wallet integration. According to unredacted documents published as part of the FTC's case against Microsoft in its planned acquisition of developer Activision. 
Whether a wallet itself would be created in-house or if it would simply be an integration with existing crypto wallets like MetaMask or Coinbase wallet remains unclear. But regardless, the lack of information does not matter to me. You have to understand how big gaming has become. Now, just to show you guys what I'm talking about, this is the esports viewership in the United States, and they are ranked second among all sports. Now, yes, the NFL is still putting a beat down on them, but they are ahead of the MLB. They're ahead of the NBA. That is incredible. So just understand, Xbox is one of the largest consoles so if they are supporting crypto in general that could be huge for the crypto space as they quite literally could promote crypto in all of their games and they can also allow users to earn crypto or spend crypto there are so many possibilities with this so i do recommend keeping your eyes on this in the future see if anything ends up coming out of this now for the final part of this video, we'll get into a little bit of technical analysis. So this is Caspa on the daily time frame, and it's getting crazy with how many times we have called Caspa in a row. We called the initial symmetrical triangle, which broke out and you would have made over 100%. And then after that, we called the falling wedge, which broke out and you would have made 56% gains in just over two weeks. And I understand in the crypto market, 56% gains might not seem like a lot, but if you actually put things in perspective, the average return on the stock market is 10% in a year. That would mean we made in two and a half weeks what the stock market makes in five and a half years. Those are incredible gains. And if you enjoy making gains in the crypto market, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. I have made many profitable calls during this bear market, and I will continue calling up projects that I believe could be profitable in the future. So stay tuned. Now, as for what I'm seeing right now, price action made an all-time high 11 days ago. We already know that. Now, this little drop we had makes perfect sense. As I called out in my last video, the RSI swings from a higher high to a lower high. Price action is lower high to higher high, which is class A bearish divergence. So that also played out. Now, it's ugly, but you could argue that Casper is forming a little bit of a bull flag again. And this actually has another huge measure move up to just under seven cents. Now, obviously, measure moves do not always play out, but the stochastics are extremely oversold and the RSI is starting to reset. On top of that, price action is trading above all of the moving averages right now. In addition, the 21-day moving average also broke above the 50-day moving average, which is a golden cross. And typically, that signals an explosive move is coming. So this just keeps getting even crazier. It is hard to imagine that Caspa continues to skyrocket, but the indicators suggest that it certainly might do that. Now, normally, I would take this trade. It fits my trade style perfectly. But again, I cannot stress enough. It is so hard for me to take a trade when Caspa is only down 9% from its all-time high. But if you guys want to take this trade, I certainly wouldn't blame you. Yet at the same time just understand caspa and the rest of the crypto market are tied to bitcoin at least for the most part if bitcoin rises most will rise if bitcoin falls most will fall that being said i want to show you guys bitcoin on the daily time frame and i know this sounds a little weird because caspa just made all-time highs and bitcoin is nowhere near its all-time high but believe it or not they are correlated now not a whole lot has changed since my last video bitcoin is still being very indecisive for example the 21 day moving average has broken beneath the 200 day moving average which is a death cross and in bitcoin's history that's usually pretty bad but on a more positive note price action has gotten back above the 21 day moving average but in my previous videos i talked about how price action swing from a higher high to a lower high and rsi was lower high to higher high which is class a bearish divergence which typically signals a local top has been reached and i said i wouldn't be shocked if price action started to flag out and that's pretty much exactly what started to happen. So then you could argue that price action was trading in a bull flag, which break up 68% of the time, and it has a measure move to about 28,500. Now it has actually started to break out and the stochastics do have room to keep coming up. So whether it's gonna hit the measure move, who knows? But as I've stressed in a lot of my other videos, I will not be bullish on Bitcoin in the short term until it closes the candle back above $28,000. That has been heavy resistance in the past. On top of that, it would also get us back above quite a few of the moving averages. So just understand there are very mixed signals on Bitcoin right now. And as I stress in every single one of my videos, it is critical that you understand macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if all of a sudden the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF were to get approved, that could skyrocket Bitcoin, Caspa, the entire crypto market. On the contrary, if it gets rejected or some extremely bearish news comes out, that could tank the entire crypto market. So just keep an open mind. Realize that anything can happen in the short term and don't get so caught up on short term price action. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments, how high do you guys think Casper could go next bull run? If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.